Hello, everyone. I am Tian Ruo and a PhD student at the Institute of Software in Chinese Academic of Sciences. Today, I would like to introduce our paper, Exploring Sensory Conflict Effect Dual to Upright Direction While Using VR in Reclining and Lying Positions. This research is about identifying of the sensory conflict problem of upright direction and investigating its perceptive effects for reclining and lying users. Although VR was primarily designed for upright standing and seated experiences, users nowadays are having more options to use VR while reclined or lied on chairs, sofas, or even beds. It's possible to use VR passively instead of moving around to help sleep, entertainment, and soothe emotions, etc., all with users in their reclining and lying postures. These applications try to avoid abnormal upward view angles by playing movies that are not related to head posture, looking down to see horizontal views, driving aircraft in a non-directional universe, etc. However, these methods limit the applications of virtual senses with daily ground references to enable more VR senses to be used in reclining and lying positions. One has to recenter the abnormal upward view, that is, changing the avatar posture to upright for getting the regular view, namely upright redirection. In such cases, users will perceive the interactions as standing avatars while their physical body is actually not upright. We typically experience our body and the world through multiple senses from an egocentric reference. Vision contributes greatly to self and space perceptions through color, parallax, and occultation relation between objects. Vestibular sense is also particularly related to perceptions as it provides essential references for self-perception and orientations according to the gravity direction and acceleration. Proprioception produced by the scan, muscles, joints, etc. of the body also plays an important role in perceptions. They can both perceive the body's posture. The prevailing perception theory holds that Human's perception results depend on integration of vestibular sense, proprioception, vision information. In this process, the brain assigns different weights to multisensory signals according to their reliability. The weighting progress of senses is highly dynamic when a sense becomes unreliable. The sense is giving a lower weight, while other senses are giving higher weights. Ultimately, the brain optimizes the information from these different perception channels based on experience, intention, etc. to produce final cognitive outcomes. However, upright direction dissociates vision, vestibular sense, proprioception, and causes sensory conflict, which may affect users' internal self-perception and external space perception in VR. The purpose of study one is to investigate in VR how the upright redirection affects body ownership, presence, and simulator sickness of users in their reclining and lying positions at different body angles. We divided the 0 degrees to 90 degrees into 5 equal angular divisions resulting in upright sitting position, 22.5 degree reclining position, 45 degree reclining position, 67.5 degree reclining position, and 90 degree lying position. All users' avatars and views are upright. For the experimental procedure, first each user needed to observe themselves and the environment in VR for two minutes. Then each user was asked to use the joystick to control the avatar to leave the room and move along the designed route towards the endpoint for 3 minutes. After completing each condition, the participants felt body ownership, presence, and SSQ skills immediately as described below and then got interviewed. Then we asked the participants to rest until they had no subjective discomfort feelings or motion sickness before starting the next condition. Overall, the results showed that compared with zero degree condition, upright direction affected sensory integration, resulting in confused self-awareness, weak upright illusion, few presence, and increased simulator sickness. Interestingly, 
with the decrease of body tilt angle, the level of negative impact on user's self-perception first increases and then decreases, reaching the maximum at 45 degrees. Speculation about the cause of the result we will discuss later. Moreover, we find that although users intended to turn their heads horizontally, their heads involuntarily showed an arc-shaped trajectory on reclining and laying positions, which was contrary to the upright cases. The purpose of study 2 is to explore the effects of VR upright direction on users' space perception in their different reclining and laying positions, and with different head orientations. The condition settings and avatars were the same as study 1's. The virtual scene was designed to a cherry blossom forest, which was characterized by uneven terrain and tilted cherry trees. It kept a natural outdoor environment feeling while including no horizontal or vertical visual references for the next tasks. Users were asked to do four space perception tasks, line, distance, direction, and position. Each task was repeated 30 times. Line perception task is where the user adjusts the lines of random angles and positions into horizontal or vertical lines according to the voice prompts. Due to the virtual scene doesn't have intuitive horizontal and vertical visual references, users need to rely on the perceptive information from multi-senses. Distance perception task is where the user observes a first sphere at a distance of 3 meters and a random position for 5 seconds and then adjusts a second sphere at a random distance of 2.5 meters to 3.5 meters to be the same distance from the user as the first sphere was. Direction perception task is where the user points at the center of a target sphere at a random position and distance with a 0.5 meter long read. Position perception task is where the user aligns the center of a wet sphere on the handle with the center of the target green sphere. The two spheres are different sizes and the green sphere is rendered to occlude everything for preventing participants from simply relying on the visual occlusion relationship. The results showed that upright direction increases spatial perception divisions of horizontal and vertical lines, the distance of objects, the directions of objects, and the perceptions of objects. As the physical body's sensory information such as gravity, body orientation, etc. interferes with the space perception of the upright VR environment. Moreover, compared to no head turn, the skewed problem of turning head at the reclining and laying positions leads to bigger perception divisions for the left object and the right object. Interestingly, study 1 and 2 showed similar results between conditions. That is, 45 degree reclining position was most affected by upright redirection rather than 90 degree laying position which had the biggest redirection angle. Based on previous series, we speculated on the reason for this result. At 0 degree sitting position, all senses matched, resulting in the best internal and external perceptions. On the one hand, as the body tilt angle increases, the upright direction angle increases, and so does the degree of sensory dissociation which leads to worse perceptions. On the other hand, increasing body tilt angle also lowers the sensitivity and weight of the vestibular system. This means that the vestibular system plays a less important role in the multisensory integration process, thereby reducing the sensory conflict and its impact. The combined effect of these two aspects made the 45 reclining position have the biggest sensory conflict and the worst perceptions, and made the 90 laying position have the small sensory conflict and the good perceptions. As evidenced by the previous literature, 90 degree laying position reduced the motion sickness and was more easily confused in the body orientation perception than in other postures due to the reduced sensitivity and weight of vestibular system. In study 3, we designed four interaction techniques to strengthen upright redirection in VR. These methods were categorized as illusion-based methods and sensory-based methods. Instead of presetting users with upright redirected views directly, we proposed a dynamic upright redirection to let users experience the tilting process. For example, when a user needed to conduct an experiment in 45-degree reclining position, 
The experimenter first adjusted the chair back to a larger angle such as 75 degrees. When the user entered VR, the initial view and avatar was also tilted. The experimenter manually rotated the chair up by 30 degrees, while the avatar and view are dynamically rotated by 2.5 times the rotation speed of user's physical body. Based on the fact that the vestibular system can't distinguish between static and uniform linear motion, we gave up some motion realism and substitute the original variable speed motion with a uniform linear motion at the original design's average speed, 1.5 meters per second, to reduce the sensory conflict. The users felt support force on the back and friction on the head when turning their heads. This was not like an upright feeling. To mitigate such the pro perception vision conflict, we got inspired by the Ironman and the Rocketeer from the game Red Alert. A virtual jetpack was rendered behind the avatar to visually match the body support force and head turning friction force when the avatar was standing or in motion. To solve the skewed problem of turning head in a reclining or lying position while involuntarily turning into an arc, we propose the head turning redirection algorithm based on users' head orientation data in the physical upright positions and the reclining positions to real-time calibrate the skewed views into upright views. We used a combination of pairwise methods for evolution rather than four methods separately. So four conditions were set up in this study. We chose the 45 degree with the worst perceptions as the experimental reclining angle. The tasks were the same as study 1 and 2 with simplifications, but reduced their task times and repetitions. We were pleased to find that the interaction method played a certain effect in improving self and space perceptions of upright direction. The condition with both illusion-based and sensory-based methods resulted in the best internal and external perceptions. We speculated that this was due to when in the strong upright illusion, the width of matched vision and proprioception that supported the body was upright became higher, and the width of vestibular sense was further reduced. This resulted in less interference and misleading of the space perception caused by the reference frame based on the physical body's gravity and orientation. Overall, these findings prove again that relative reliability and multisensory weights seemed to can be changed by manipulating the vision contents. Finally, our studies have some limitations. First, the analysis and inferences of the results of study 1 and 2 are based on the experimental results and past theories. We don't rule out that there are other factors that might play certain roles in the process. In the future, we need to find more evidence in the neuroscience field through more experiment to make the inferences better evidenced. Second, the interaction methods in study 3 are preliminary explorations based on previous series and findings. They have some limitations and are not necessarily optimal solutions. For example, lack of testing of each method independently and investigating of other reclining or laying angles than 45 degrees, etc. Although upright redirection does cause extra sensory conflict, we believe that a comfortable reclining and laying position is a good choice for lazy people, passengers, long term immersion people, patients in bed, etc. We hope that the findings can help researchers to better understand the upright illusion and its perception principles, inspire the novel interface design, and provide a new perspective for the popularization of VR in reclining and laying positions. Thank you for your time. If you have any question or want to know more details, please contact us or refer to the full paper.